had the Centrelink thing, so I had to apply for 20 jobs a week or something. Most of the time, I wouldn't even get an interview. You feel so down on yourself and you feel like worthless a bit. You know that you have good skills, but nobody's like giving you a chance to show them. Yeah, so it was really exciting to join the AbilityWorks team. Okay. They had to work out like what tasks I'm good at because I don't have very good fine motor skills. So there's like a trial and error of what tasks I would be good at. And then everyone was really friendly and the supervisors are really helpful and they um, give you really clear instructions and they come and check to see you're doing okay if you're doing a new task. So that's really helpful because obviously they've got a certain standard they need to um, keep up for the customer. I like working with my hands, so anything with my hands is good and I like interacting with people. Did I tell you what my favourite name is? Everyone's really friendly, everyone talks to you, it's a really good group of friends so I love that I've made new friends and I'm very happy. What have you got in the sandwich? Ham and mustard and lettuce. Interesting, never had that combination. It's a really good community and everyone's willing to help each other. While I feel like I'm contributing to the community and I'm of use like I was of use before but it's nice to, it's nice to feel appreciated. I've always been interested in music. It's been the backbone of my life. My dad's a music producer. And we recognised very early on that he had perfect pitch. So we thought music would be a possible career for him. This is how my job at AbilityWorks came about. Um, because the music industry is one of the hardest industries to make money from. And it can be so, it can be a thankless task sometimes. Indeed. And I need to have something to fall back on just in case something happens. The unemployment rate amongst blind people is 70% and his Asperger's uh, prevents him from really knuckling down and developing a skill set to access employment. We thought that you really needed to learn to work in a work environment to be able to get on with other people to have a sense of responsibility that employment gives you. And I'm doing that. You are doing that. And, and you have loved your job. Yes. Here at Ability Works, I perform a range of tasks, including folding towels, packing dog biscuits, bending wires, and feraling brushes. I personally was a bit worried about how the staff would cope with Rory rather than the other way around, because he can be very difficult when asked to change something. The staff at AbilityWorks, they could not be nicer. I mean, they're, they're always there for me. Yeah. All right, so two wires again. Go okay there, Max. Path to fitting all right? Yeah. yeah, working well, Rory. You know, if someone was to ask me for advice on what I'd advise my fellow vision impaired or other types of disabled people who are looking for supported, supported employment, I would, rec I would recommend AbilityWorks without hesitation. I love having such a wide range of tasks because each task presents its own individual challenge for me and I get a lot of enjoyment out of it. And I hate being late to work. No, I, it's not because I think I'm going to get in trouble for being late. It's because I love the job so much. If I wasn't that ability works, <laughs> um, yeah, I found that there yeah, that you know, most jobs out there I haven't been very well suited to. You know, I've kept them. Uh, some jobs I've done, I've only kept about the first week, and then they've let me go, even though I could do the job a lot of job fairly well, it just wasn't what they were after, but here they really give you a, a go. Well he seems quite well motivated, you know, he has to get up quite early to get there and he, he does that quite happily, um, you know, he'll sleep in on the weekends but when it comes to work he's up and off. 
I found I like the work, especially the welding. That was the sort of thing I've always been suited to. Yeah, you know, I've expanded in the time I've been here. Moved on to different jobs. He seems to be doing a level of work that's sort of testing him to a certain extent. The staff have always helped me here. Here, um, yeah, when I have trouble with something, they always um, show me what to do, or get me onto another job, and after all, I come back to the job I had trouble with, and I learn how to how to correct it, how to how to do it. Here, I've met a great variety of different people or different personalities. It's allowed me to open up and become more sociable. Yeah, this sort of work has always been my sort of work. Um, basic sort of hands-on stuff, just pressing buttons or doing it manually. I like sort of work that's always suited me. I've been doing this for nearly five years now. Well, it's the sort of thing that suits me and I like to contribute. At Ability Works Australia, it's a great opportunity for people with um, yeah, all sorts of uh, with conditions like we have uh, that uh, give us a chance uh, that, that yeah, we wouldn't survive out in the normal workforce so here will really um, allows us to you know, succeed. Laura was born with cerebral palsy, spastic diplegia, which means she's affected from her waist down. She also has some uh, intellectual disabilities and she has some mental health issues with anxiety. So she faced a lot of um, difficulties when she was growing up, but she handled them very, very well. She's a very determined, feisty young lady. You have to um, make sure you put the e cake in the right way and not too quickly. Just, he needs a structure. Um, needs discipline. If things are ad hoc, he gets a little lost. So I think you know, things like Ability Works has been really good for him from that point of view. He's got a sense of purpose. He's got a, the opportunity to learn new skills uh, in a very uh, controlled environment with great support. This is his correspondence, and then I click on correspondence, and then I click on begin test, and it tests the tag, and then it, and then it prints out a prints out a, um, a little ticket. I'm absolutely thrilled that uh, she has a job, she has a, an independent lifestyle. Having uh, the ability to make friends, to get on with his own life, to be self-sufficient as much as possible. Let's open. Let's open. Let's open. Let's open. Let's open. Yeah, yeah. Oh. We met at uh, was Roy Tal, but now it's called Ability Works. As soon as I saw her, I knew, I knew yep, she was the one. I think without Ability Works being in Laura's life, we would have struggled enormously. She is very independent. She desperately wants to do whatever her sister does, like have a job, have a normal life, go to work, come home, have a social life. The support there for whatever issues that they have, they, they educate them and they give them opportunity to grow. Yeah, I love all, all the work that we do there. And we do the Good Friday, Good Friday tins for the Good Friday appeal. At the moment, we're doing Antac Day Anzac Day pins and the volume of it is like thousands and thousands and that's the kind of work we we want big jobs like that. I just like the people that I work with and um, the supervisors are great. It's a sense of belonging and I'm work I feel worthwhile. I actually have a purpose in life to get up. People with disabilities have, ter have enormous problems in making outside friends, but they have friends there who they meet socially in the city for lunch and dinner, go to films with, interact with, and I think it's just been the best thing since last spread. Dryden came to be at Ability Works through work experience from TAFE, uh, Dryden has Fragile X Syndrome, which is an, uh, fracturing off of the X chromosome and it causes mainly intellectual disability and a small amount of uh, physical disability. If Dryden wasn't at Ability he Works, he would be having great difficulty in finding employment in open employment because of the constraints that are put on normal business and the fact that someone like Dryden would need supervision. It's good but it's fun to learn new different tasks all the time. He's definitely grown as a person. Um, he's made 
friends. They're nice people too and they're nice and friendly and they're happy and good people to work with. He's been given a purpose in life in a supportive and secure environment. The staff are nice and they're kind to you and they're nice to you. Ability Works is a wonderful environment uh, for people with disabilities. It's caring, it's secure and it's safe.